folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Factorio. And in between episodes, I have been very much enjoying the fact that, uh, as it turns out, if you've got radar coverage somewhere, you can actually do blueprint building at range, which is pretty astounding. So, for example, uh, right over here, where it's actually on my the edge of my radar coverage, I might decide I put this here. I can't quite get it to connect. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Just shift click over there. That's going to be a robo port that'll be put down. And I am going to shift click a radar as well. Um, I mean, it's already in construction zone um, over here. So it's within the network. So a robo port will be put over there, which will extend my construction zone. But also the radar, which means I'll be able to see fully what's going on over here and build over here, which is going to be handy to extend out some of my uh, robo port coverage at range and, and do that. Um, in terms of actual bots, what I've done here is um, I want to I want to keep myself exactly ten. Oops, I'm putting down. If I do that, there we go. That drops the fifteen. Uh, there we go, and drops that. Leaves me with exactly ten, which is what I'm looking for, and brings us to exactly one hundred of both bots right now. The construction bots are still very busy. Um, something about the upgrade tool that, from that mod that I was using made the actual upgrading jobs like actually insane because I, it had to like it was picking up absolutely everything off the belt first then it was spending like a weirdly long amount of time actually doing all the deconstruction and stuff it must just be part of the way that mod is uh is implemented um and as a result uh nothing was really getting upgraded so i actually had to do a lot of just manual go and like oh okay i'll, I'll run these i guess it's so weird that it just the copper isn't being consumed anywhere else. Let me just check to make sure everything is running okay. Uh, the biggest problem, of course, right now is the fact that I don't actually have any copper production being in it. Oh, here we go. There's an example of stuff being kind of idle. Probably my personal bots will go out and do that. Uh, just because the construction bots in the network are all super busy. I think they're doing a lot of, like, long-range stuff. There's a lot of stuff that still needs to be finished up in a lot of areas. Um... It's trying to construct out the new circuitry thing, and yeah, just, just traveling long, 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 long distances. Um, but that's okay. So what we need to do here is we need to go and set up our new copper mine. Now, I have possibly not enough transport belts. I'm going to have to go and probably explicitly go and grab them. I've got lots of undergrounds, lots of splitters, that's fine, and a ton of miners. Um, I'm going to go and build some more big electric poles over here. The little ones and the medium ones are going to be fine for the next bit. Uh, what I'll do is I will pick up some more steel and more iron so we can actually craft a few more of those uh, let me bring that up to a slightly higher level um, and yeah I will manually go and quickly grab some red transport belts so that these guys don't have to be super busy doing that the constructors are also busy laying down um, a lot of um, flooring in a few different places so that's gonna keep them busy like mad all right ludicrous amount excellent so I guess we're just gonna set up this copper area over here the other thing we could do that might be worthwhile is it's slightly more copper here but it's on a seam and kind of annoying no let's just do the copper in the north that's going to be a okay i've got lots of yeah i just checked the rail that's going to be fine um signaling wise i'm gonna grab a few more of those there was actually because i had a couple of um t intersections a little too close to one another there was a slight jam there and i had to actually finish the t intersection with the chain lights in the middle so that um trains going in opposite directions could pass each other because they were getting a bit confused because one couldn't quite leave the intersection properly or i could just put um one instead of having the exit be a regular signal i could have had the exit be a chain signal to make sure the next one was clear but we'll see um Right, so, yeah, slow trickle things, and you can see there's still a lot of um, the upgrading that was never completed, uh, but that's all right. Meanwhile, over here, I would like my construction bots to do that, and actually, I've got roboports on me as well. I want to make sure that this area, right there, is well within range of, or is in within, it's in range of the normal construction scheme over here. Boom. And, yeah, we'll just go on the other side like that. Okay, um, I think it's probably best... Ooh, well, we have to remember where our rail goes here. Now, finally, I can make use of the shift-clicking behavior. Now, here's the thing. If you shift-click on on a bit, it lets you draw rail very long, but it still gets blocked by obstacles. It'll try to go around and do weird things. If you just hold shift afterwards, then it'll be like, oh, you want me to plow through trees and everything. Yeah, I can totally do that 
groovy, man. Because, yeah, you can see this, but it'll try to, like, dodge around obstacles. Or you can hold shift and it'll go through obstacles. So sometimes you want one, sometimes you want the other. Mm -hmm. And you can do that at much longer range because you're in full ghost. You're just letting your bots put things down for you. God, it makes the rail stuff so much more enjoyable. Um, I'll probably end up putting the station on the north side of this. Um, because it's a little crowded down here with things. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. So let's go and put in with our thingy. We'll start with a T-junction. Um, a little further up here. Thump. And one of our rails. And yeah, I mean, probably we're going to need to ultimately... Um, I just want to draw a new one. Probably. I need a mirror image of this. I don't think there's a tool for that. That's okay. Now that I can uh, use the, the shift sort of whatever, this becomes a lot nicer. Um... I'm going to say I want a horizontal line somewhere around here. And then a bit longer. And then I don't care how you do it, but I want you to end up here. Like that. So, yeah, that ends up being kind of a little funny. But I get to be super lazy. So, fair enough. All right. Um, we're gonna go and put you right here. Thank you. And big power here. I mean, there's gonna be power that runs through there, but just, just for now, just so we can get the network going, we're gonna do that. Uh, that's probably in the wrong place for this, but that's okay. So now we got bots crawling over this, tuning things out for me. Cheers and thank you. And my, my specific worker bots would be more convenient because I've got the goods and I'm nearby. We've got the automatic dumping of trees, so we're going to get that out of the way. And a train stop. Hmm. Well, you know what? All of this is going to be bad. And you know what? I don't actually need all this wood. Do I have grenades? Oh, I didn't pick up any more grenades, so I will actually need to ask these guys to tear up all these trees. Which, again, we'll find something to do with wood. We'll shove it into some sort of, like, furnace somewhere or something. Um, so that it's not filling up all of our, um, all of our little storage bins. We'll just have to eliminate it somehow. Let me just stay within range of this here for a second. A bit slow, but there you go. Uh, some of the, uh, the reason the tech had stopped is because one of those, like, upgrade things was supposed to upgrade a little piece of, um, transport belt that was going into our red science area. And it wasn't getting replaced properly. I had to go and, like, do it manually, get around to it. Uh, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. It's like, the red science was the bottleneck all of a sudden? How does that happen? I want to stay just inside the logistics area here. And we can chop down some of these myself. Okay. So, stop, 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 stop. Or, yeah. Train stop. Good. Um, do I actually have the means to build trains? I do. Let's build a couple of those and a couple of cargo wagons and drop a locomotive on there. So this is actually big enough to do two, but my other... Inf well, here's the thing. I don't actually have a copper or drop-off yet. And I also think there's a good chance we're going to have to expand most of our production in most places. I'm thinking that we may actually go and expand to just bigger ore trucks at the start off with, if not bigger trucks in all. Um, let's go ahead and set this one up, and we'll have to set up the copper drop-off as well to be set up for a pair of things, so that things will load faster. All right, now onto the actual mining, uh, and let's get rid of more trees, more trees... You over there. And what the hell? You guys as well. I'm sure we're not going to want you. Um, and we can probably put down a RoboPort. Just to say... Out there. It is annoying that there's like... The distances involved in the RoboPorts and the power lines are wonky. Know what I mean? I 
And with this, um, we don't actually have a coal, like, passive provider. Well, and we don't have requesters either, but I was going to say that might be a way to load some of these trains up. We'll see. Or, you know, with, with wood, actually. Uh, which I can't... There we go. I can do it that way. Done. Get rid of the stupid wood. So, to load this up, we are definitely going to do... Um, you know what? I can just use some of these wooden chests, actually. Uh, that's something I could maybe change. Whoops. I still want to auto-trash the wood. But yeah, leave me with 100. That's fine. And we'll make a shit ton of wooden chests. Because there's no reason we need, like a ludicrous amount of storage over here. Did I ever set up... I don't think I ever set up, like, stack inserter production, did I? Er, that's not great. Now, just like with the other stuff, I think we can pro... Ooh, a bunch of stuff is getting destroyed. What? Where? Here? I don't think we've got any defenses set up over there. I do have some laser guns ready to go. Who the hell got in there? It's probably just one or two strays that somehow snuck in. I suppose I could have used my radar map view to see what the heck is happening. At least things will get uh, rebuilt pretty quickly. Yeah, that's it. I don't even... They probably came from there. Yeah, we gotta go and take care of that shit. We'll get there. Is this the same alarm as before? It's just alerting me? I think so. Alright, token little gun in there. That's fine. Back to work. Do, 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 do. So, there's not, I mean infinite amounts of stuff in here. Don't get me wrong, a million's pretty good, but it definitely will not last the rest of the game. So, it looks like if I build it here, I will get everything. Let's make sure the first one gets at least a sufficient amount of things. And I'm going to go back to, like, building adjacently like this, because it's a hell of a lot faster to place. A lot of people do like the every other um, every other drill or leave a pause thing, but... It, it, it's a lot more micro to sort of put down here, especially since this isn't in the, the sort of job that you can just blueprint, really, because, well, I mean, I guess you could. You could just have a blueprint, and you put it down, and it would only cover a certain area, but it's not like this takes very long. We can do that. We could mine that out a little faster, but as long as everything gets mined, I'm okay. That's basically it. I'm looking for minimum amount. You've already got overlap there. Uh, we need that minimum amount of uh, miners to actually mine out every last gram of this. Now, I know there's like a ratio for fully saturating everything. I don't know. It's like 50 or something like that. And we could go and, and tune it properly. Because that's the other thing is you could maybe save a few miners. Um and or prevent a few of these lines from being backed up, but I think it's gonna be okay with the red. Uh, I don't know 100%, but I think so. Anyway, you're gonna run this way. To there. Whee! Actually, that's the thing that makes sense, is I should be slow walking, putting down the power. And then fast walking, putting down this. Hey, hey! There we go. And something like that. And I need to do the power again. Yeah, like that. So it doesn't quite reach across the lines. Much ore. Nope, overlap there, but that's okay. Just a wooden pole. Boom. Okay, everything's powered up. We've got four of these lines, and we somehow have to go to 
some subdivision here. And there's a pole in the way. So let's actually go a little further. that use our thing that we determined to be a proper four-way balancer here unless I've been corrected for a 15th time in the chat maybe there is a mistake to that but it sure as hell looked in our test like this is a perfect four-way balancer without using the extra dividers at the end so what I'm thinking here is of that. I mean, I know I could come in and split, but the only problem might be is if, like, the the back ones get starved. But regardless, that would sort of mean that something would get starved anyway. All right, something like this. Let, let's see. I don't know. That looks pretty good to me. And then as we get the other side, um, I'm going to do it this way just in case a tree gets in the way. I can just shift click. It's not like my personal workers are currently busy. Oh, I don't think it does the other side properly. There we go. Get stuck in trees. Stuck in trees some more. Um, actually, this one is the one that goes further. This one just goes to somewhere over here. And we build... Ghostly stack inserters. Um, right. I'll do that annoying thing where it's going to... I should really make a blueprint for this. Because um, I didn't want it, my construction bots to do that. Okay, well, at least I got a few down, so what I can do is take... Uh, you can't edit a blueprint, right? Because, yeah, they used to be physical things. Now you just delete it and you say, listen, I want a new blueprint. Um, what I want to do is grab this thing. There we go. Like that. And we'll obviously have to rely on some production of things later on. Here, I'll make some more chests, because this is going to be perfectly fine for these things. It doesn't matter that they don't store infinitude um, goods in the buffer. You don't need infinitude, you just need enough to, like, actually get the train to load everything properly. Bum, 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 bum. That felt very dangerous, but of course the train is not currently alive. You don't have any power down here? Okay. Alright, so we are draining all that. You're going here. We're not even fully saturating. Look at this. Like, none of the inputs or anything like that. Um, but the train should load pretty quickly. So this is going to be... Um, we don't have any kind of copper ore pickup. Copper ore pickup. Uh, one. Yeah, we will name those. So this train will be responsible for picking things up there. We'll let it get a full load. And then what we want to do is we want to build a station on the other side. And it's going to have to be a station set up for a train of size 2. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to blueprint that whole thing. Just just the straight of it. Yeah, actually, I like that. If there's a sense of desperation going on right now in my voice, it's because I have to pee so very badly right now. I've recorded too many episodes in a row. Um, bum, 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 bum. Now I can't think either. Let's see. So yeah, it's just like the stop plus these. Not even the... Uh, oh, and then the power. That's going to be fine but not even any of the belts is going to be there. This is going to be uh, station uh, two, car, station. And really, that's it. Two car station. Boom. Done. And we're going to make sure to... Meh. 
It's not what? Okay. Two car station. Why is it empty? Oh my god. I must have done something? Oh, did I can you clear the blueprint by right clicking on it? That's must be what I did. Okay, we're gonna create that. Then we click in here. Okay, you right click on the book or something. I don't know. Anyway, we've got our two car station. Oh, this is for, for loading. Uh, load. Because that is different from store. Okay, we're gonna cut this episode short. Because I really have to go pee. Next episode, we'll set up the uh, station where we deliver the ore into our copper smelting. Which is still only a single line. Um, and probably could be expanded at this point uh, to great benefit. So we'll see about that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.